If there's a feature we've had a lot of in the spring and in the summer, it's downbursts and microbursts. And yes, we're talking about those moments that a storm goes from a few winds, kind of some gusty winds, to all of a sudden very strong winds. So here we have a picture of a uh, supercell thunderstorm. This is not one that we saw in our particular area, but this is a great illustration. It shows you both parts of the storm. First, we have the updraft, and this is where it's pulling in all this warm air, all the moisture, all the unstable air that feeds the storm. And yes, you can see the striations, especially right up in this column of the cloud here. And yes, that's your wall cloud there. This is rotating. So oftentimes you're going to have that inflow, and that's going to start actually rotating because you have the instability and the lift, and that starts to interact with winds moving different directions. We call that shear, uh, different, differing directions higher up in the uh, cloud there. So yes, there's the buildings of rotation here, but we're talking about why we have the sudden downward moving air. So what goes up eventually must come down. And yes, you have your <sighs> exhale from the storm. That's your downdraft, that's your rain, your hail. And yes, those very strong winds that come out of these storms because they go down and out. So when you have the storms that go from a nice steady rain to all of a sudden looking like this, <laughs> where you have these strong winds and sudden very heavy rain, and, and yes, in, case, in some cases very heavy hail, it's those downbursts and microburst winds. And I, you know, I think I have a better way to, uh, to show you that here in just one moment. So you've heard me compare the uh, winds, downburst winds, microburst winds to a bucket of water, in this case a bowl. And what happens is just like water, when you pour it out, it goes out in all directions. And that's why you have winds that spread out under these storms. So I pour this out And you can see it's spreading now, it's a little downhill here, but it's spread in all directions all around. And whichever direction the winds are not as intense outside of the storm, that's usually where your outflow boundary is going to go. So I hope that this helped you understand that a little bit better. And there's even a video I'll link to this where it shows what's called a rain bomb. Now it's every bit as intimidating as it sounds, but I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what other topics you would like for me to cover in these weather FAQ segments. Have a great weekend.